your transmission established. This is Keeper. We may speak freely, Agent. Prepare to receive your orders. Keeper, should I be thanking you for these lovely accommodations? Don't get cute and don't waste my time. You're here to work. You were chosen for this operation because of your exemplary performance during training. Imperial intelligence needs agents capable of working independently in the field. Now you apply your training to the real world. Nemro the Hutt and his organization run Jaguna, and you're in town to convince Nemro to supply the Empire. Give me background. What are we working from? Jaguna is an industrial town, and Nemro runs most of the industry. The Hutt applies weapons, drugs, and raw materials, but not to us. We believe Nemro has been reluctant to lose Republic customers by publicly siding with the Empire. It's time he overcame this reluctance. And I'm your means of making that happen. That's correct, Agent. We need to know what Nemro and his advisors are thinking before we can act. I want you to obtain access to the Nemro clan's inner circle. You require a cover identity. One of our contacts, an alien named G, has prepared a background for you and will provide the details. Trust me, Keeper, I don't need any help to get close to a hut. Don't underestimate the Nemero clan. The galaxy has seen more effective gangsters, but rarely more sadistic ones. Jig will be waiting for you at a safe house. Locate him, take what he offers, then report to me. Are we sure this contact is trustworthy? Jig won't betray us. Whether he succeeds at his assigned tasks is another matter. I'd be more concerned with the rest of the populace. Most of Jaguna is caught up in a turf war. Some of the gangs involved belong to the huts. Others are independent. Your combat training should see you through, but expect brutality and expect to be targeted. Jaguna isn't friendly to strangers. Now, find Jig and report back to me. Keep her out. Rodo no malis, smogas total gis babo apiatai. I'm listening. Continue. Vataranai ango mis akananon, alas protas era. Gratai aptite, iruprit pertini savasia savebe kaijis. If there's another red blade out there, won't that be a problem? Small seo popudus mana ira patare mana nan kali. Vataranai ango mis akananon alas protas era. Get to the point already. Akrodo no malis, smogas total gis bavo apiatai. Gratai aptikti, iruprit virtini savasia savebe kaijis. Let's make this fast and quiet then. Atrodo no malis, smogas total gis babo apiatai. Vataranai ango mis akananon, alas protas era.
28 la prasma era. Adra vimos brandimos prostis cad atavere dag. You've done well. The Empire is grateful to you. Francija baja as at vexia. Vataranai angomis akananon alas protas era. Jake, from this point forward, operational security will be at a premium. You will not contact us from this terminal again. Small seal popudus mana ira padare mana nan kali. I understand you corrected Jeek's mishandling of the situation, Agent. We'll now proceed. That creature didn't just mishandle things. He messed up badly. Possibly. But we will use him until he's outlived his function. Your next task is to access Nemo's inner circle. Present yourself to the hut as a fellow gangster, the Red Blade, and offer him Jeek's gifts. One of the gifts is implanted with a listening device, which we will use to monitor conversations within Nemro's palace. If someone suspects me, what should I do? Use your judgment. Silence them or allay their suspicions as appropriate. But keep this in mind. At this juncture, our primary goal is to find weaknesses in Nemro's organization. Even if the Hut won't join us, we might influence his lieutenants. Talk to Nemro and his men. Determine who we can turn and how we can sway them. We will be listening. In that case, I better watch my mouth. I expect my ears can handle it, Blade. Be careful what you say. And lose the accent. When you're in the Hut Palace, you're no longer an Imperial. Contact me from the Cantina once Nemro has his presence. Keep her out. The pirate's on her way. Security droids say she's armed, but she won't be trouble. Let's hope not. Here she is now. I'll go tell the boss. This is Carol's. Tell the throne room that the Blades arrived. When Nemro shows, stay at least five meters back and don't come up unless you're called. One wrong move, and you're a pile of ash. Send a Nemro and let's do this. Just going over the rules. You've got a reputation, and we don't want any problems. Allow me to present Nemro the Hutt, the illustrious crime king of Jaguna. Dodi buna buna, manji kabo nonis nemo. It's more than you're worth, you pile of slime. E tacho bachawa aita. Not bad. Nemro, the adults here are real orodium. The cloth looks like. Manama asha bicho. Kipuna malituta odmishka kabano tasema. I'm very grateful. You've got quite a place here. Hi, Jibanaga. Goodbye, Gigi. Gordon. Noli Makichisan. Kikuna mo. Uban choni alipa. Eastin koto. Oh! 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 Oh!
Juta Kasu Yai Kuira to Ganti Kong. Looks like your audience with Nemro is over. You'll have to forgive the interruption. I've been working for that hut since he killed my gang when I was 13. Trust me, you can't talk to him when he's like this. I think I can get his attention. Maybe, but it wouldn't be smart to try. We're having trouble with the Fathra clan, and it's getting to all of us. Fathra's out of line, but the hut cartel hasn't bothered to interfere. So, it's a business dispute. What are you feuding over? Everything. The mines, the factories, the slaving operations. Now look, I need to work up new plans with security, and keep an eye on Tathlajin to keep him from suggesting anything stupid. In the meantime, you're a guest, and you've got our permission to do business here. You got the run of the palace, so I'll see you around. Well done, Agent. The listening device is working perfectly, and Nemro can keep no more secrets from us. Imperial Intelligence has determined that Nemro's human lieutenant, Carlos Jarvis, is the weak link in his operation. You're going to twist the man until he serves us. He won't be any trouble to manipulate. Unfortunately, Carols is on the verge of disfavor with Nemro, while the Twi'lek lieutenant, Tafligem, I believe, is Nemro's rising star. I want you to go to Carol's and offer your services as the Red Blade. Do whatever is required to bring Carol's glory in Nemro's eyes. It's trivial enough. I'll handle it. Indeed you will. One other thing, Agent. This operation of ours has drawn the attention of a member of the Dark Council, Darth Jadus himself. The Council's authority is second only to that of the Emperor. It's a rare honor for an intelligence operation to be overseen in this way. With all due respect, what does the Dark Council care about Hutter? This operation isn't exactly a threat to the Sith. I don't know why Lord Jadis is interested, nor is it our concern. The Sith aren't obligated to share their reasons. Report back once you've rendered whatever aid Carol's requires. Keep her out. Don't be in such a hurry, Blade. Don't you remember me? Your old buddy, Dino Ray? I don't think you looked this good when we met up on Hoth. Or so girly. But you couldn't be an imposter, you know your friend Dino. Of course I remember you, Dino. How long it's been. 
A little too long, it seems. Turns out we got a problem. You see, you don't look like the Blade I know. The Blade who owes me credits. But you say you're the Blade, my pretty lady friend. So I'll take you at your word and ask for my money, you understand? I thought we were close, Dino. I thought you were my very, very close friend. Yeah, I can see that. But come on, I really do need the cash if I'm gonna keep your secret. Oh, come on, you're a good guy. You take a girl's last few credits? Leave her broke and wanting? Look, maybe I could let the debt slide just this once. For a friend? Dino and the Blade, you know? I like the sound of that. I like it a lot, Dino. Oh, glad to hear it. You know, we could uh, head to my room, get cozy, talk about old times. We got a lot in common, you and me. Tempting, but I have other business. Maybe we can catch up another day. Sure, another time. I'll even keep your secret. No one could say I wasn't good to you. Blade, come on over. Glad to see you're enjoying the palace. Look, I've only got five minutes before I have to go meet with some alien freaks, and I want to ask you something. You've been around the galaxy a few times. What's it like dealing with the Empire? The Empire is a pain to deal with. I stay away from it these days. You're lucky to have that luxury. Not many of us do. The Huts have taken control of the gangs, and I think real soon the Republican Empire will want control of the Huts. Even if Nimro won't believe it. So, if we gotta pick a side, I wanna pick a winner. And I don't see the Empire losing. Sounds reasonable, but what are you gonna do about it? For starters, I make sure I'm not being stupid. There's more on the line than business. My sons are free traders. They're doing business in the Sullis system. It's their first time dealing with the Empire, so I worry. I probably shouldn't. But you came to me for a reason. What can I do for you, Blade? You know Hutta pretty well, but you don't have my skills. I thought we could partner up for a job. Is that right? Huh. Normally I wouldn't, but lately I could use someone who works alone and gets results. Nemro's been stewing in his slime since we lost a shipment of rare ores in the Yubokai lands. He blames me for some reason. Now the Evokai, they're Hutta natives from before the cartel came. They mostly want us dead. If you get that shipment back, I'll pay you good. All right, I'm interested. Then maybe we both come out ahead. There's a work camp outside Jaguna. Nimro set it up for some Evokai who wanted peace. Bad deal, poor rubes. The chief there, Odef, was supposed to talk to the other Evokai tribes about returning the ore, but he didn't come through. He knows something, though. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have an appointment to keep. But I look forward to seeing if the Red Blade's as good as they say. You said you were going to get the ore back. I have done all I can. They, the other tribes, will not listen. If you say so. Hey, you the Red Blade. Heard you were coming. Thought we'd soften up the chief for you. Any luck with your interrogation? Says he's real sorry he couldn't make a deal. That's about it. The other tribes, the evil Kai who refused peace, it was it was they who attacked your shipment. You have given us homes and work. I I help you willingly. But the tribes will not return Nemro's medals. You think you can lie to me? You're probably working with the rest of the evil Kai. Damn creep! I would not. I would not betray Nemro. The tribes, they stole the shipment to spite the huts, and to use for themselves. They will make weapons, machines. They took the metals to their great village in the swamps. Only a beast or a shadow 
can enter. Seek the shipment there, if you wish. Feel lucky I'm letting you live, Odef. Unless I find out you're lying. You will not. I only want peace. All right, Chief. Let's get you a medpack or two. You've had a busy day. Slow down, Blade. Stay with me a while. We haven't had the chance to talk. I'm Kaleo. Nemro puts me in charge of the good stuff. His guns, his troops, the safety of his little palace. You can spare some time for me, right? I have a minute. What can I do for you? So sweet and so polite. And here I figured you'd be eager to head back outside, blow the heads off a few locals. You've got a nasty reputation, you know. I can't help wondering, why would the Red Blade finally visit the House of Nemro? You have a problem with me, talk to the Hut. My business is with Nemro. 
Maybe. But so long as Namro and I are sharing a palace, his business is my business too. I like to think you'll be trouble blade. You'll be bloodthirsty, treacherous. Because I could enjoy keeping an eye on a bloodthirsty, treacherous pirate. Do what you want. Just stay out of my way. Touchy. I can deal with touchy. If you are trouble, take your time. I'd hate to stick a blaster to your head or a slave collar around your neck before I've seen everything you can do. That's all I wanted to say. You can go now. Watch your back, Kalia. I'll watch yours. You can watch mine. Fathra will not stop his mining operations. He's going to keep tapping our gas pocket and cut our supply in half. Oh, Kakiza Spida Perupa. God was Niko Higa Danulia. Don't play dumb with me, Tafajan. Fathra doesn't need to steal our customers if he doesn't leave us any gas to sell, and we can't uproot him without help. Kunyukichawa Joto Jamba. Idiot. Sorry about Tothla Jim Blade. Legitimate business brings out the worst in us. Makes me miss actual crime, you know? But it looks like you're about to brighten my day. You find the shipment? I have it right here. Delivered as promised. The fee's been transferred to your account. You'll have access by the time you're back at your apartments. You earned every credit. I'd buy you a drink in the cantina, but I need to have a chat with Nimro. We should talk more another time, though. You do good work. I'll be around. No promises, though. Then I'll see you when I see you. The operation is proceeding well, Agent. Thanks to your intervention, Carol's Jarvis will once again have Nemro's ear. I took note of your meeting with Nemro's security chief, Kaleo. You handled yourself well. Still be on your guard. We've identified her as a freelance assassin, enforcer, and anarchist. She's been attached to a dozen employers in half as many years, using several different aliases. Killing her wouldn't be any trouble. I can lure her somewhere isolated. She's a wild card. She may prove a liability, but she could also prove very useful. Watch her. On to more immediate concerns. Nemero operates a major Schwarz gas mine on Hutter. The Empire wants access to Nemero's refined gas. Unfortunately, Fathra is tapping the same gas pocket as Nemero. We need to destroy Fathra's operations in the rust yards before Nemero's grinds to a halt. You don't know how long I've been waiting to blow something up? Then you may enjoy this. We will travel to Fathra's mining facility and place explosives in the drill shaft, destroying the equipment and collapsing part of the gas pocket. You'll need to strip a uniform and credentials off the facility guards to pass the final security checkpoint. A working disguise is imperative. Should be straightforward. Your disguise may not hold up under close inspection, so avoid conversation. The explosives have already been delivered to your room. Once you're finished, go back to Carol's Jarvis and make sure he knows what happened. Take the credit if you like. I'll be back soon. One more thing, Agent. Darth Jadis pays increasing attention to your work. He will reward success or failure appropriately, and I will not intervene. Report back after you've destroyed the mine and inform Carols of the results. Keep her out. Know you. Seen you around Nemro's palace. Heard your interesting reputation. Name is Cray. Paid by Nemro to sabotage Fathra. Goal to end hot war from shadows. Good work. Very exciting. Learned of hole in Nemro's security. Gotta seal it before Fathra discovers. Want in? Risky, but profitable. What's the assignment? Everything you hear, keep confidential. No careless whispers, yes. Fathra Patrol captured Nemro's smuggler in random sweep, but didn't know it. Fathra Patrol threw smuggler into rust yards as slave. Fools. Smuggler knows Nemro's business. If smuggler is exposed, business is compromised. Immediate action required, yes?
Why not do it yourself? Ordered to remain in shadows, tasked with finding freelancer to rescue smuggler. One like you. Mission objective, use this device. Deactivate smuggler's slave color, free him. If device fails, drastic measures authorized. Alternate objective, silence smuggler permanently. Snag tracking chip from base of smuggler's skull as proof. I don't see any problem with that. Too much at stake, yes. Fathra must not discover a smuggler's identity or secrets. Zevin imprisoned in Rustyard's slave pen. Identified by green skin, tattoos, excitable temperament. Species, Miriallen. Fathra's people, I know that. Kray sent you, didn't he? Are you planning to bust me out? I can't stroll around with this slave collar on. If I step outside the secure zone, I'll be shocked unconscious. Or worse. Pipe down. Your creepy Twi'lek pal sent me prepared, all right? You can neutralize slave collars? Fantastic! Use it to free the others! These poor people got caught in the wrong place at the wrong time. Fathra's working them to death. 
They're strong enough to make a run for it. They just need their slave collars deactivated first. Doesn't seem worth the bother. You're more than a match for Fathra's guards. You got in here, right? If the guards discover I've escaped, they'll torture the others to death. Can't happen. All you have to do is deactivate the other slave collars. My friends will make a break for it when the guards aren't looking. I was given the option to kill you. I'm taking it. You heartless piece of filth! Representative identity confirmed. Entry authorized. Ventilation system. Lockdown in place until ventilation complete. Recalling all mining and security droids. Tracking chip. Not unexpected. Nemro will miss Zevin. But everything must end someday, yes? Just give me my money, you freak. Insulting, hostile, greedy. But contract fulfilled. Anticipate silence to follow. Reward as promised. War continues, but maybe ends sooner thanks to you. Goodbye. You'll get the gory details after I report to Nemro. Figure you can wait that long? Looks like I'll have to. But you don't get... Blade, nice you decided to come by, but I was just telling Carol's I can't stay. I know you understand. That girl's a handful. But she's good at what she does, I'll give her that. What does she do exactly? Besides swagger and carry a blaster? Officially, she's Nemro's chief enforcer. Truth is, most of the troops are terrified of her, so she keeps our people in line more than Fathra's. Anyways, I'm glad you're here. But those explosions in the rust yards, you wouldn't know anything about that, would you? I think it was some sort of explosion. Don't know the details. Is that right? Reports say Fathra's mining equipment was destroyed. Half of the Schwarzgash pocket collapsed. It's good news, Blade, however it happened. 
With Fothra's mines broke down, we can increase production. Fothra will want revenge, of course, but we'll be ready. Look, I have something for you. You'll like it. I'll send it to your room. You've done good work for us. You deserve more than credits. Which reminds me, how long are you staying on Hutta? What makes you ask? Well, if you're still around in a few weeks, I'd like you to meet my sons. They'll be home from the trading expedition. I think you'd get along. Think about it is all I'm saying. Now get going. I'm sure you have other business to take care of. Come on, Muti, we don't have time to waste here. Too late. Hey there, you must be the blade. You want to explain why you're in my room? Well, we were paid pretty well, for starters. Luti here was installing a listening device before you interrupted. Someone wanted to know what you were up to, but I guess that plan's off now. Whatever you're being paid, I can pay more. Well, I don't really want to cross my employer. Plus, you know, we can always grab the credits off your corpse. Guns out, folks. Stan Yamaro's Farsh gas production is back on schedule, Agent. Excellent work. Keep it up and Darth Jadis may loosen his grip on operations. However, I'm afraid unforeseen circumstances have caused a problem. You mean the people who broke into my room? No, that's a separate matter, and one I advise you to watch closely. But it isn't what concerns me now. Three days ago, Carl's Jarvis' sons encountered a Sith apprentice in Imperial space. A dispute broke out. One son died and the other was crippled. When Carlos hears that a Sith slaughtered his child, his sympathy for the Empire will evaporate. We can no longer use him to get to Nemro. Can we keep him from finding out? No. Carlos is close to his sons and the circumstances of the encounter aren't exactly secret. He'll learn sooner or later. Now. I have a plan to solve our present dilemma, but first we need Carol's out of the way. I'll handle it. I'm sending you an interference program on a computer spike. Go to Carol's suites in the palace. Activate the spike to black out his security monitors. You'll be able to eliminate Carol's and his bodyguards without being seen. When Nemro's people investigate, they'll recognize the jamming program as Republic technology. Let's hear some more. Tarthalish and Nemro's Twi'lek advisor already expect Fathra to seek revenge for the destruction of his mines. Our job is to show that the Republic helped Fathra kill Carols. Once Carols is gone, speak to Tarthalish about his suspicions. As Carols' friend, you'll promise to do whatever it takes to find the assassins. Time to get to work. For now, get to Carols' suites and use the computer spike. We'll discuss more once Carol's is eliminated and Tarthogen's suspicions have been aroused. Keep her out. <laughs> What's going on here? You thought you'd just go and switch sides? 
Damn you! That's the way it is. End of the road, Carols. You think you're the first piece of scum who's tried to kill me? I was fighting thugs in Jaguna streets when I was half your age. I can handle you. Piti do tenya go kaka jujo, da biska ku paliya. Tiliska chenaga wa ni chiko spa ini kudade. Nuncha kichawa, choto ge kwanga joska. Chakita huta, kunta chuta, kaso ya li kuli ra, kanki kum. Sounds like you're having trouble with Nemro. Wonki ata chakapa tonka, jisa bicha. Kaba no tase makipuna, mali tuta udmishka. Piti do tenya go kaka jujo, da biska ku paliya. I didn't help Carols for free. Are you going to pay me for my time? O kakiza spida perupa, kadwa shiniko higa danulia. Kliska taka, ya yoska ukle yuga chesko pukuta. Yinga yinga kijita, nimni tanuv alelo kwekuta. Kunta chuta, kaso ya li kuli ra, kanki kum. O kakiza spida perupa. Kadwa shiniko higa danulia. I'll look into it. Might take some time. Patoga wata kiko uba kiri wata buki donko. Buka kampak nijit tonka yiliska chanaga. So, this is where you've been hiding. Nice. Is the blood on the floor fresh, or did that come with the room? Why do people keep breaking into my room? I can't speak for anyone else, but I thought it would be nice to talk privately. You've been all over town racking up quite a body count. And I know what you did to Carol's. You're after something bigger than Emro. I'm not sure what, and I'm not sure why. But I want in on it. You just made your last mistake, Kalia. I think I've got a few mistakes left in me. Too bad you don't want to be a part of them. Hold a moment, Agent. Violence may not be necessary. Hmm. What's this now? We know who you are, Kalia Janus. And we are willing to offer you a deal. I am Keeper. I represent Imperial Intelligence, as does my operative. We are aware of your activities on Rat Attack, Ord Mantell, and Brentall 4, as well as your affiliations. Your skills could prove useful, and we are willing to offer you a place in our ranks. You would become a very well-paid servant of the Empire. I've heard worse propositions. What do you think, Agent? You want me on your side? Frankly, killing you seems a lot simpler. Might just get the chance another time. But your boss just offered me a free ride, and who am I to say no to that? Count me in. But call me a servant of the Empire again, and I'll bust your face. Charming. We'll discuss the details later. 
As for you, Agent, Tarthusian is convinced that Bathra the Hutt is a major threat to business. Well done. Now we must bring Tarthusian proof that Bathra has support from the Republic. The first step is to obtain a hollow disk from Bathra's palace. The disk contains hollow recordings of all Bathra's dealings. The Hutt is too paranoid for his own good. You'll have to break into his archive to get it. It'll mean lifting security codes off the palace overseers. Like you said, paranoid hut. Noted. Once you reach the archives, use this computer spike on the holodisc. It will be altered to show Fathra meeting with Republic officers. Then bring the forgery to Tarthalysian. I could use a break from the tough jobs. With Tarthalysian convinced that his enemies are allied with the Galactic Republic, have no doubt. He will turn to us for help. We are in the end game. Ilya will accompany you on this mission and will act under your command. Last time I went to Father's Palace, I had so many adrenals in my system, I was coming down for a week. This should be entertaining.
father's palace. Same hut style, a lot more firepower. Ready to go in when you are. <laughs> You look good. Getting good.
malam biangin, hanggang nayapek kabrakawa. Manala yang perlu, amkat kalami nayakira nubua. Hello, Nan. What brings you down here? Father finally ordered you to check out the shooting? Nuli lak apa jam kamram, amkan nem nang nemua inuk. Kali rumah, mereka baka lebik rumah. I like that about you, Nan. You only bet on a sure thing. Naya memgem kaligam. Gegwa nam karak naya memak. If you're with Fathra, you're dead. Simple as that. Kremini bebe. Rapa praha vernagalak. I knew coming here would be a good time. All right, make me look good. That's it, then. Better hope your boss knows how to make a convincing forgery. Of course. There's going to be a bloodbath once Nemro and Toplogen see what's on the disc. I don't need your advice. I just thought you might appreciate the warning. If that disc really names all of Fathra's business partners, it probably identifies half the people in Jaguna. Merchants, gangsters, debtors, the usual scum. When Nemro gets a hold of it, He'll want revenge on anyone who dared to go to Fathra behind his back. There'll be bodies clogging the gutters for weeks. It's brutal, but if it helps Nemro, it could help our position. It would make Nemro happy, but I doubt it'd actually help his business. Different things. If you're feeling queasy, you could always erase the extra data and scratch up the disk. Make it look like only the doctored recording miraculously survived the damage. So, we deliver Keeper's forgery without the real data. Nemro doesn't get his revenge spree. The risk is that Tophogen figures out you erase the good stuff. I'm not endangering the mission to protect the low lives of Hutter. Ah, oh, aren't we dedicated? I knew I'd learn something about you on this mission. Now let's get that thing to Tophogen and see what happens. Hello, Tothlogen. The Red Blade claims to have something to show you. Manchi do ti puna puna, kabuk nuni slemo. Mokili mo klunki, nik mi chawa wermo. I stole these recordings from Father's palace. Take a look. Poya toka changa goptula do batawana wanki. Kliska taka, ya yoska ukle yuga chesko pukuta. Nakwa no ya chuski na wiku chusu, yo mata chitoya. Kapakunga, chisa bija wongi chikadoko. That's what it looks like. What are you gonna do? 
Vafa Baji Wanda Humpa Puira Bampabura Imache Churon Chica Jiliska Chanaga Jiliska Tananga Ime Chai Jo Ron Chica Is there anything else I can do for you or your clan? Tonda Hoyachi Tobata Jimoa Tusawa Mikuna Posta Morulia the deed is done, Agent. Nemro is already contacting Imperial embassies looking to establish relations. He'll be eating out of our hands within the month. In the short term, our chemical and stimulant stockpiles will nearly double. In the long term, we're a step closer to bringing all of Hutter under Imperial control. I'll make my full report to Darth Jadis shortly. I expect he'll be very pleased with our work. That's excellent news, sir. Your future with Imperial Intelligence looks bright, but we can discuss that face to face. Your mission is now complete. There's a shuttle waiting for you in Jaguna. It will take you to Drummond Cast. Once you've arrived on planet, report to Imperial Intelligence Headquarters in the Citadel. I'll debrief you there. Don't make me jump through bureaucratic rings. If you want another assignment, you will follow orders. Khalil, you will also report to Drummond Cass. I assume Nemro won't be surprised by your sudden disappearance. He'll be hurt, but no one will be surprised that I left with the blade. And he's certainly not the first employer you've walked out on. In any case, I'll expect to see both of you soon. It's about time I got out of this swamp. I'll try to find a planet more to your liking next time. Report to the shuttle as soon as possible. Keep her out. Jeeg, I wasn't expecting to hear from you again. Barbara Vimos, Brandimus, Prostis, Cab, at the very dug. Vataranai Ango Mis Akananon Alas Protas Era. You told me the real blade was far away. What's he found out? Small Sio Popotus Mana Ira Patare Mananan Kali. Atrodo Nomales, Smogas Total Gis Baba Apiatai. This is your fault, Jeeg. It was your job to handle this. So, you're the one who killed my men. The Pretender who wants to be the Blade. You must be the pirate who's too scared to use his name. I'm the Red Blade, you worm. The real Red Blade. And you've got one chance to explain yourself before I burn a hole through your head. Hard to explain myself to a dead man. You're a piece of work, but you're not leaving here alive. Damn you, pretender! <sighs>